I was participating in a lemon party this morning and that got me thinking, what if there was such a way, an overlooked feature in the game where you can get an amazing buff, like for example, plus 20% on your life support, plus God knows what on your, on your jetpacks when you need it the most. Is there a feature like that? Well, yes, there is, and it turns out it's an awesome way to make nanites as well. So let's get into today's video. I'm going to show you exactly how it's all done. So in the most recent update to No Man's Sky, you're able to build on your freighter now these massive, massive farms. So what you need to do, first of all, is go ahead and load up an entire freighter level full of of every plant you can think of this will come in handy much much later so as you can see here i have every single plant and it's so easy to pick up from it's it's stupid you just literally go to the middle of this floor in here harvest all and it harvests four at a time and you're just literally going down the line until you get the entire lot so once you've gone ahead and you've harvested all of your crops, you want to come over then to the nutrient processor. Now the nutrient processor is fantastic. It's such an overlooked thing in the game because you can start making things like dough. You can make things like cookies, drinks, stews. I'll have a link in the video description to an amazing list that I found where it'll give you all of the very best ingredients that you can use because you're going to want to make a good selection and more on that later to the reason why but all we're gonna do is just for example i can chuck some of these in here and as you can see every item so far is giving us something new something different and we're gonna be taking these up to the anomaly in just a quick moment so a really good recipe to get done very, very quickly is just to take some non-toxic mushrooms and combine it with some steamed vegetables. This will give you an amazing, quick and easy to do stew. So it's called a fib fiber stew and it's actually pretty good for making units as well on the side, but we're not going to be using that for this purpose today. So once they're done, stick them in your exosuit and then what we need to do is complete our first glitch. So the only downside to farming is once you pick up all your crops, as you would expect, it then takes a ridiculous amount of time for those harvest crops to come back and to grow. So what we're going to do is cheat the game a little bit. Now we're going to go back to our ship in the freighter, jump inside of it, and then we're going to fly off into space. Make sure your multiplayer is turned on for this, and then we're going to go inside of the anomaly. We're going to do what's called a flyby glitch. So the flyby glitch easily works like this. As you're flying through into the anomaly, we're going to get an item ready to transfer. It can be any item that you want. So once you get this item to transfer, we're going to send it over to a player as soon as they come up on the list and then reload your auto save. If you land and you haven't managed to like send over an item to anybody, don't worry. Just fly back out again. Do the same on the fly out. Rinse and repeat until you get somebody. Now, as you can see there, I've still got all of my items here that I've gone ahead and made. I mean, I've made bread, I've made meat packs, I've made shoes, I've made a lot of things. But what about my crops that I've picked up? So the reason that I went ahead and did that is whilst I was picking up these crops to begin with, I never made a save. So that means now I get to keep all of the crops that I've picked up and they are fully grown again instantaneously, thus saving in a stupid amount of time. So all we're going to do from here is jump in our ship, fly off back into space, go inside the anomaly and land. And then we're going to make our way to the back. We're going to go and speak to a very important NPC called Kronos. So you can see I'm at Kronos. Again, he's at the back of the anomaly. We're going to go ahead and speak to him. And we can go, for example, and give him some of our stew that we have just gone ahead and baked. And we are getting a lot of quick and easy nanites. Now remember, I only... I only baked a few different items at a time just as I was showing, but if you spent a bit more time with this, you could give him anything. And there's so many more recipes that you can go ahead and give him, and they will give you, depending on what you do give him, more or less nanites. But this is such a quick and easy way to get some on-the-fly dirty nanites. It's, it's really, really good, and it gets you to use a feature in the game that you might have been overlooking. A lot of people do. I used to overlook this until, until I rediscovered it almost, even though it's been right in front of me the entire time. Now, another thing that you can do with these is you can go ahead and get buffs. So if you don't want to feed that big fat guy at the back, 
then you can use them to get some instant and insane buffs. So these are really good to have on your person anyway, anytime. So for example, if you're struggling, you need some instant jetpack power to get out of a situation, eat some bread. If you want to get some life support recharged, eat some meat. If you want something to get other things all recharged, like for example, steamed vegetables here, these give you 20% on something else. It's honestly ridiculous. Now, once you do go ahead and cook all these, keep them in your inventory and keep them for an emergency. Honestly, they're absolutely incredible. Also, if I can ask guys, can you do me a massive, massive favor? If you have enjoyed today's video, then before you do leave today, can you please press that like button? It really helps the video get out there and this information can be seen by more people. And the more people that see it, the more people can take advantage of these different methods. Also, if you are new around here, don't forget to subscribe. I do things like this now on a daily basis, giving lots of information, tips, glitches. That's what I do. And if you want first dibs on seeing that, then don't forget forget to absolutely smash that notification bell as well anyway guys that's everything from me here today and as always my name is professor cynical and i'll catch you all again in the next one bye for now